actually that we need to go over. So it says find the diameter of a circle with an area of uh, 1,034.1 square millimeters. Now, if I, uh, can I borrow your calculator, please? I don't know where my calculator went. Oh, it's back there. Um, so anyways, they're asking us to find the area or find the diameter of a circle of an area of a circle with an area of um, the square millimeters. So first thing, we're talking about a circle, right? So let's again, ladies and gentlemen, draw. Let's again draw a picture of a circle and an area. Is not that what I've been telling you guys from the start? Draw a picture and draw the formula. That's our radius. That's our diameter, right? Now let's draw the formula, or let's write out the formula. Area equals pi r squared, OK? Now, do we know what r is, the radius? <coughs> no. no. We're trying to find d. And, but they, give it, they do give us the area. 1,034.1 equals pi r squared. Now, they're asking us to find d, which is our diameter. What is the relationship between our diameter and our radius, Damon? Twice the, si twice the length of the radius, right? Yeah, I know. So I was hoping, yeah, it's OK. But so then, Damon, would it make sense if I find r, I can just double that to find d? Yeah. So let's find r. Well, to do that, I need to isolate the r. So I'll divide by pi. So I take out my handy dandy calculator. And I'll simply do 1,134.1 divided by pi, which this calculator, do you not have pi? <laughs> OK, well, I'll just do 3.14159. I guess so. So that's 360.9955. I'm just going to write on that. Equals r squared. All right, now I'll take the square. I'm not going to, um, it's going to depend on the problem. And what I for anything, for most of the problems, you always want to write in. Do not round until you get to the very, very end. OK? So preferably, it should be you know, 4, 6, 8. Always write in. And actually, I'll even give you guys a good hint. Do not round until you have finished the problem. OK? Because if you round before you finish the problem, you're gonna, you might get an answer that's not going to be correct or that's not going to um, have a rounding error. So I take the square root of that answer, and I get 18.999 equals r. Now, obviously, I need to find the diff, uh, diameter, so I just multiply that by 2. And I get 37.99, which, yes, we can now round that. There's 37.99. Is approximately r, or I'm sorry, is approximately your diameter. So let's just round that up. And it's also going to depend on what the answer is asking. If they say, hey, round it to the tenth, the hundredth, the thousandth, or they say round it to the nearest integer, then you could say, OK, that rounds up to 38, right? So you got to make sure you listen to what the, or not listen, but read what the question is asking on how they want you to round it, all right? But do not round it until you get to the very, very end. Because if they say round it to the hundredth, you, that, you have to leave it like this, right? It does 10, so then you'd round it to the 10th, which would bring it up to the 8th, or to bring it up to 38 anyways, right? 